All right, it's time. On day two, apparently, you get free SSR. You can choose between Shinja. I mean, you can't choose. It's random. All right, twenty percent of Xiaolin, Carl Wong, Esther Rosa Di Chevalier, Elizabeth Pendragon, or Shinja. So a free SSR on day two. Let's see if I can be lucky and get Carl Wong, just like everyone else. I've always wanted Carl Wong. That's my dream. But because my reroll was effed up, I couldn't get him. Am I the only one that's nervous? 20% chance to get Carl Bong. Let's go! Actually getting a dupe. Actually getting a dupe. Whatever. I'll take it. Hey, what is up guys? Guitar Rock here. Welcome back to another counter Strike video. Alright, so very important video today and I hope that I can put this out there as soon as I can before it's too late. Alright, so I just found out a bunch of new things, a bunch of new info. Very important. And I was about to do this earlier during my live stream. Somebody told me that nope, you shouldn't do this. You should save duplicates. Alright, let's talk about duplicates for a bit. If you guys are not familiar, SSR. Now, in the early part of this video, you guys saw that I pulled for Xiaolin. Now, if you guys are not familiar, now why was I upset right when I got Xiaolin? Because I did reroll for her. And getting duplicate is gonna be a bit annoying, right? Because yes, you can limit break characters for sure, but ideally I would prefer to have different variety of SSRs. So let's go into the limit break section. Then it's easier to talk right here. So if you guys are not aware, if you have duplicates, that means it's easy for you to limit break them. When you limit break them, their levels can be increased. So therefore they can get stronger, they can get more stats, etc. So for example, this rifleman right here, I can just do this, select. So obviously the first time you limit break them, you're only going to need one duplicate. The next time you're going to need more, right? So it's going to be really, really costly. So let's limit break this guy first. Okay, so as you can see, this is an end character. So obviously I have plenty of duplicates, so it shouldn't be a problem at all, right? But when it comes to something like an SSR, now that's a totally different thing. Let's select a different target. For example, Xiaolin. Now if you guys are not aware, I just obtained her. So I could easily just use duplicate and select and boom. I could actually limit break and that will increase my level cap, which is right now 50. I think that will increase it to 70, right? Which is something that you ideally want, especially if it's your main SSR, like your main strongest character ETC. But here's the thing though, some of you might have already done this, but ideally you shouldn't. Alright, I'm just going to say it out loud, don't do this. Stop doing this right now, because when you do this, you're wasting all the amount of cubes that you're going to need to use later on. So let me explain. Let me cancel. So ideally you want to hold on to your duplicates till much later on when you're able to limit break them further at the second or third stage like the the fourth or the last stage right because if you do it right now by limit breaking them now what you're essentially doing is you're wasting these red cubes later on all right the counter apt core now let me show you guys if you guys don't understand what i mean so right now you can see it's going to consume twenty thousand of this which is credits and 30 of this right out of 65 i have 65 in total right now so i can use 20,030 or i can use her right now it will cost 20,000 but it doesn't consume the red apt core currency but here's the thing so if we do this this will only consume 30. let me break for now okay yes this will consume i understand so now we have the ability to increase her to level 70 all right and now you can see it's going to be way more expensive at the next stage because now I'm going to need 60 of these APT cores and I'm going to need the counter as APT core which is freaking rare. Alright, which is why limit breaking at later stages is going to save you a bit of the extra resource of everything. So right now you can see if I unselect her, alright, I will need 60 of this APT core counter apt core 60 of this i will need 12 of the counter as apt core 60 and 12 but i could use this to reduce it where i only consume 30 and this one will be reduced to 6 which i still do not have by the way so keep this in mind that don't rush to limit break your characters unless you're a whale 
If you are free to play, this is a very important information. Please share this with your guildmates. Please share this with your friends who are playing this game. It's very important. I don't want anyone to waste your resources early on. Especially if you are free to play because these things are not easy to obtain. Once you have plenty of SSR characters, you're gonna suffer finding for all of these things. So saving your duplicate characters for later on, to limit break them later on at a later stage is gonna be much more efficient in the long run. Keep that in mind. And with that being said, let's talk about duplicates as well, where I've been hearing some players thinking that this is a good idea as well. This game is a bit different. It allows you to have multiple uh, duplicate characters and you can use duplicate characters in different team, right? And some players have been saying, okay, Guitar Rock, is it a good idea to have two of the same character? For example, now Xiaolin. So if I got two Xiaolin, is it a good idea to build up both Xiaolin and place them in both separate teams. Now honestly, I don't think that is a good idea because number one, SSR characters take a lot of resources to level up ETC. So you're better off using N and R characters again just because some characters SSR are really really good. You shouldn't disregard some of the N or R characters because those are pretty strong as well. There are some good ones and I'll definitely have a video of that coming up real soon, hopefully tomorrow. In my opinion, I would say try to avoid building both characters that's the same, right? Someone did ask me, oh, should I build two Carl Wong? One for team one, one for team two. Don't do that because wasting your resources that way, remember you need to level them both up and that's going to cost a lot of gold, all right? It's going to cost you a lot of resources in general to level them up. I don't think it's as efficient as you think. It might sound like a good idea at first because you have two strong characters in both parties. It's definitely not something that I would encourage players to do early on, but if you want to do this later on in the game, once you have got all the characters up, then you have a lot of resources, especially your goal, then you can consider doing this. But ideally, I don't think this is a move that you want to do right now at the early stage of the game. All right, just try to build up some of the rare characters. Uh, just a quick tip, if you guys haven't built Irie yet, she is insanely insanely good. Irie Alfred, she's my favorite character for, for the rarity R. She's really really strong. We're going to talk about that in future videos for sure. Alright guys, so that is going to be it with this video. Hopefully, this can save some accounts out there because using duplicates, especially early on, just to limit break your character, can be really costly. Alright, you're going to miss out on a lot of those uh, much rarer cubes. That's going to be hard to obtain later on. I hope you guys don't do this mistake because I might know a couple of players that have already done this. Again, if you guys find this video helpful, feel free to share it with anyone that you know that's playing this game. Please give this video a like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a nice day. Goodbye.